Hi friends, today I want to solve a manometer problem. As we see, we have this manometer which is attached to a pipe containing oil, the grayish one, and water, the blue one. We have to find absolute and gauge pressure at point A. And also we have atmospheric pressure which is 101.3 kilopascal. Let's solve it. The first one, we find gauge pressure at point A. If no matter, you start calculation from point B to A or from point A to B. I started from point A to B. Accordingly, I got this uh, manometer equation. Why I got this one? Because pressure at point A equal to pressure at point 1. So we can directly come to here. It is the same. I write pressure at point A. Okay, and come to here. Pay attention. Whenever you go up, the pressure decreases, and when you go down, the pressure increases. But we go up and go down by the same heat, and the liquid is the same. So these two uh, pressures cancel each other. In another way, we can directly come to point two. As uh, according to the rules that say pressure at every point is in a liquid which is a liquid at rest pressure is the same okay we can directly come to here so pressure at point a equal to pressure at point two but when we come down we have a column uh, a column of oil which it's head 0.2 meter so it increased Accordingly, I put the positive sign and heat oil multiply specific gravity oil multiply gamma water. That is the gamma of oil. Okay. And from point 3, we can directly go to point 4. According to the previous rule, which says every point is in the same level. When liquid is uh, at rest, the pressure is the same. So, we directly go to point four, but here we go. We, when we go up, we have a column of water which it's head 1.5 meters, so the pressure decrease. Accordingly, I put ne a negative sign and write head of water multiply gamma water equal to pressure at point B. That's why I write. Uh, this manometer equation. Okay, let's put numbers. Pressure, gauge pressure at point A plus 0.2 multiply gamma multiply gamma of oil which equal to 0.2 meter specific gravity of oil multiply gamma of water this equal to gamma of oil and minus we go up minus 1.5 meter multiply 9.81 which is the gamma of water it's unit kilonewton per meter cubic equal to pressure at point b because we calculate uh, gauge pressure so uh, at any point which is open to atmosphere the pressure is zero so pressure at point b equal to zero okay pressure gauge pressure point a and as we see, this meter cancel a meter uh, from this meter cube, and this one cancel a meter from the meter cube, so it remains kilonewton per meter square. Okay. After calculation and simplification, this theorem equal to 1.6677 kilonewton meter square minus 14.7 one five kilonewton meter square that is the result for multiplication 1.5 multiply 9.81 equal to zero after more simplification gauge pressure at point a minus 13.0473 kilopascal because kilonewton per meter square equal to kilopascal and take minus 13.04 73 to the right hand side it will be a, a positive sign so pressure gauge at point a equal to 13.0473 kilopascal 
that is uh, gauge pressure at point A. Regarding absolute pressure, absolute pressure at point A equal to absolute pressure equal to gauge pressure plus atmospheric pressure. We have we already uh, found a uh, gauge pressure which is 13.0473, and already we have uh, atmospheric pressure which is 101.3 kilopascal. Just put the numbers and some gauge pressure and atmospheric pressure, we get the result for absolute pressure at point A. Okay. Accordingly, the absolute pressure at point A equal to 114. 0.347 kilopascal. That's all. I hope it can be helpful.